Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. So, y'all know in the last video, I was telling y'all um, that I wanted to get some more character to my closet. I wanna add doors and different things like that. But I figured I would start with like organizing everything, you know, giving everything a home. If I show y'all my makeup drawer, it looks a mess. So I really wanna organize it to where I can put my makeup and my accessories in there neatly to where I can find everything. So I have a 25 piece drawer organization set from LifeWit that I wanna share with y'all today. Um, I haven't, I've already opened the box, but I haven't taken everything out. They actually sent me two sets of these, which is more than enough. So. The first thing I have is like the tiny containers. They also have this size. So let me take one out for y'all to see it real quick. This, and then they also have this size. Then lastly, but not least, we have this size, which is the size I'm actually more excited about. This one, as y'all can see on the bottom, they don't have those grip things. So they probably will slide in the drawer, but a solution to that is to use the drawer liners that you use normally like in your kitchen. These are perfect if you have like, um, what do you call them? Junk drawers in your kitchen and you need to just keep everything contained. For me personally, I'm gonna use this in my um, closet to organize my makeup slash accessory, accessory <laughs> drawer. But um, they definitely have a variety of sizes that you can choose from to fit whatever your needs are. So these are available on Amazon. I'll make sure to include the link down below. But y'all, I'm gonna take these upstairs really quick and organize my drawer. I'm gonna show y'all before and then also show y'all after. But thank you so much to LifeWit for sending these to me and sponsoring this portion of today's video. So let's go upstairs and organize. Okay y'all, so when I show y'all this, don't be judging me, I done got makeup on the outside of my drawer. Okay, so y'all see all of my scarves and stuff are just everywhere. The new um, products I just got from Sephora everywhere so now that y'all got it before i'm gonna go ahead and you know organize this off camera and then i will show y'all what it looks like afterwards okay y'all so i am done here is what it looks like so much more neat so i pretty much use the full 25 piece set in here so these are two that i already had um but the rest of them are part of the set so I put all of like the concealers, setting powders, setting spray stuff, primers over here, all of my foundation here, all of my brushes here, anything relating to the eye and brow here, lip stuff into the next two dirty beauty blenders. Here's the mini ones. Um, I'm going to go get more of those to fill this up. And then my Laneige cream. Um, here's my lipstick. These are like makeup palettes. And then all of my lotions and skincare stuff that I'm not currently using right now and then the rest of these are kind of like empty waiting for me to fill them up and then the last row is where I put all of my head scarves and stuff um, so I just folded them up neatly and put them there and then I have a little bit more space right here but when I line them I don't have to worry about them moving but honestly and truly because of how they go all the way to the back they're not really shifting like that obviously you can hear the product jiggling and stuff but i'm really happy i'm excited about this i wasn't expecting it to actually fill up the entire drawer but i'm happy about that everything looks neat and organized i can actually see where everything is so thank you so much to lifewit for sending these to me and sponsoring this portion of today's video we are one step closer to getting my closet together So the clip before this, y'all seen her in her crib. 
she is too big like not too big for the crib but she's it needs to be let down but she's never in her crib y'all she sleep with us say i sleep with my mom and my daddy and i take my naps in my mom and my daddy bed because i had a grown baby and i know not sleeping in there yeah who is that say bean say malia say malia Mwah. she's so funny um so we are about to get ready to measure because i've been up since four o'clock this morning and y'all know when i wake up in the middle of the night i shop so i found i think i found our dining room table and chairs the chairs is something i've been wanting but the fabric is not really a kid friendly fabric but i think i'm gonna go with black chairs um to bring more black into here so um, if I turn y'all this way towards the dining or what is the call it? The break breakfast nut area. Um, so y'all know we wanted to, well, my husband said that this dining room table that we have right now is too dark. And I think it's, I don't think it's that it's too dark. I just think it's that there's no other dark wood like this furniture wise in the house. So it makes sense to get something um, lighter. So originally I told y'all we were gonna do a circle table, but in order for us to be able to sit six people at a circle table, it would have to be 60 um, inches in diameter, is that what it's called? Anyways, six inch around. Um, but if we do that, like I was telling my husband, if we do a round table right here in this space, the chair is probably gonna jet out a little bit. So. I think we're going to stick with an oval shaped table instead so it still goes this way to actually fit the shape of the space because the shape of the space is rectangle. So because of that, I'm probably not going to do a table up under the gallery wall. But anyways, I'm about to measure this table to see how long it is because this table that I want to get is 90 inches. So, will you like to hold your baby? How was your workout? Good. 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 That is it. Oh, oh. Come on, Stucky. Hey. I don't know, y'all. I think this is gonna be too long. Which sucks because I really like it. All right. four chairs because on a typical day it's only four people sitting at the table Bean is in her high chair i'll worry about her, where she gonna sit when time comes that's a long way from now um and so we're not gonna have um any chairs like on either end so it'll be two and two and then i think i mentioned it's gonna be a glass table so i feel like with a glass table um y'all know how like the sunlight beams in here especially with the wall of windows that'll just continue to make it like very light and airy and it won't look as used i guess you could say because you can see through it the bottom of the table is a cream color they also have the option to get black but i want to do black chairs i'm almost wondering if i should do the black table with the black chairs um and then i also thought about ordering the same chairs as our bar stools they have them uh, as chairs as well, but I feel like that'll be too much. I want some, you know, different textures and colors and stuff. But honestly, I, I, I think, I don't know. I think the black will be fine, to be quite honest. So, um, I'll include a picture of what everything looks like. Y'all know me. I always say I'll include something on the screen and I don't do it. But yeah, I think that'll look nice, especially with that black. And then I'm ordering um, an antique brass light 
picture light to go at the top. Um, you know, we've been looking for one of those and um, I found one that I like. I seen Carolyn L, like y'all, she be influencing the heck out of me when it comes to stuff. But she shared, she shared she several, but the ones that she shared most recently um, in her video, I really like. So I'm gonna order two of those, one for right here and one for upstairs. And that'll bring the antique brass from the um, chairs right here. Let me show y'all from these chairs. So it's kind of like this color. So that'll bring that over there. So um, I think that's that. And then obviously because the glass is, the table is glass, I'll have to, I'm probably still gonna use these bases, but I probably won't use that tray. So we'll see. But I'm All right, y'all. It's later in the day. We're about to show you what I got. My bits and bolts I got from Home Goods. Listen, come tomorrow, the hair gonna be done, the nails gonna be done. Come Wednesday, we're gonna have lashes. I'm not gonna be looking like I've had. Yeah. Oh, and we're going to a new nail place. So we got to the point where we're traveling for the nails now because I'm sick. Ugh. I'm not gonna keep paying these folks to play with my nails. I'm just not. So, anyways. So y'all know the next project in the house or the next room in the house, not really a project. I guess if you wanna call it a project, call it a project. The next room in the house is the master bedroom. So I told y'all, this is the last vlog. I don't know. But got the bedroom furniture. Um, so now I'm starting to try to get the decor pieces. So hopefully it, uh, it kind of flows together. So I just pulled up a picture of the dresser while I was at Home Goods, and I had been seeing um, some very expensive. When I say expensive, they're probably the lamps, probably about five, six hundred dollars, maybe more. Similar to this, and I found these at Home Goods for eighty dollars. So I am super excited about. Ooh. Just that quick, like the lost one. I am super excited about this. They had a set of two. It's the details. So I like, can y'all still see it? Um, the white lampshade that has like this crisp, clear thing up here at the top. Um, I could have did without that. But I'm gonna take it upstairs in a minute, but I'm doing, so I told y'all the bed is bone. All of the furniture is a bone color with brass hardware, the mirrors are brass, and then the comforter set, which I need to press submit, um, is from West Elm, and it is um, white. Please hold. Okay, y'all, so I just ordered the comforter set. So the comforter set is white, and then these are white, but then you know, all the furniture is bone, the pillows from West Elm are like that, um, I think it's a golden oak color, so that I feel like will bring some of like that brass type color onto the bed. And then the back of them is like a canvas color, um, which I feel like will look good with the, um, like the bone. Um, what am I trying to say, y'all? The bone <laughs> furniture. So then, um, in the sitting area in front of those three windows, I think I wanna do gray chairs, maybe a light gray chair. I haven't really decided yet. I haven't finished my mood board because I've just been buying everything. So now that I've purchased everything, I can kinda of like put it onto the mood board and kinda of go from there with um, where I wanna go with the chairs. But anyways, so I got these, so two of these. They're, um, seems like they would break very easily, so I need to make sure I store these to where can't nobody get to them. And then I also um, found these two vases, vessels, whatever you want to call them. They remind me of the ones that I got from um, Kirkland's, but a fraction of the price. So I decided to go ahead and get two because y'all know the entryway table will be here May 14th. So um, y'all know everything that I bought to go on the entryway table. I literally used it for my second coffee table in the living room. But here's one of them. This one was only $24.99 and it has almost dropped it. It has like hints of like a, a kind of like a cognac color. I don't know. These look like they will break easily. 
but it's kind of like made out of clay. Not farmhouse, honey. Anyways, um, I thought this was cute, and then I got the bigger version as well. So I'm thinking I might sit these on the floor, um, underneath the table, or sit them on top. It really just depends on how heavy these end up being on top of the entryway table. How how like the thickness of the entryway table um, depends on whether or not I actually sit these on there. I don't know if y'all can see this. Let me turn the camera down. Let me turn. I'm scratching up the table. Oh, y'all can see it. So this is what they look like. This one's actually a little bit thinner, I feel like. But I thought those are cute. You know, this one was $29.99 and this one was $24.99. I was gonna leave them there, but they ain't, they they had like four of these and only one of these, and I was like, I know I'm gonna regret it if I leave them. So let me get these off my table before they scratch it up. So I got those. I bet y'all like y'all. That's a lot of cream and white, but I don't know. I like those. And then I got, oh, I really wanted me some more nice wine glasses, but I couldn't find any all over here. But I got these. <laughs> She's pink. So I'm gonna put these on my bar cart in my um, office to have, you know, cute little mark. Some ice water. Have you feeling? So I got two of those. They also had like an iridescent color, but I know my Rachel. And then I also got, y'all know I said I wanted to do, um, put like some cocktail books and stuff over there in the butler's pantry. So I found this little wine book. It was only $9.99, but it's not like, that aesthetic but i thought it would look decent over here you know <laughs> so that's one thing or i can just do it like that i don't know y'all we gonna figure something out oh and then this little book how much was this 24.99 it says live beautifully i just like that it was like a cream and black color um, probably will use this on the entryway table some kind of way. And then I got this also for the entryway table. It's on top of the book. Um, it was only $7.99, but I like, it actually looks like a piece of corn, but I thought this was a nice texture to add. I look like, oh, but yeah, these are, if you're looking for these at your home goods, these are in the, well, at our home goods, dang. You can't see, oh. um, what'd you call it in the aisle? That I, and then, is that it? Yeah, that's everything that I got. So I was not supposed to go in there to really buy anything, but I'm glad I actually went, oh yeah, I went in there for um, artwork for the upstairs. I seen something that had like a wood border and the picture had like, almost like a, like a, a burnt orange or a brick color, kind of like a dark gray with a hint, like the undertone was like blue, gray, white, cream. But I was like, it was $130 and I wasn't in love with it. If anything, it would have just been a, a subtle purchase, if that makes sense. So, but y'all, I'm about to take one of the lamps or actually both of the lamps and I might just, I need to figure out where I want to store them so they don't get, I'm gonna put them in here. I'm just gonna take one of them up and put it in front of one of the mirrors so we can get a feel for what it's looking like. So please hold. Okay, I just thought about something. So I know those two vases, vessels, whatever you wanna call them, that I showed y'all. I said I was gonna use them up under the um, entryway table, but no, I think I'm gonna use those for our dresser and our bedroom because I keep forgetting that. I need stuff to style our nightstands as well as our dresser. So I'm gonna use those on the dresser. This book I'm gonna use on the entryway table because I completely forgot that I purchased these. So that with the black, I feel like it's gonna look nice right there in front of that, you know, what's the name? So this allows me to bring more black over there. And then I might 
also put this some kind of way or this will go in the bedroom either way i feel like there's a lot i can actually do with this so i ain't really in it with 7.99 and then y'all know i also purchased this um because their bedding is like 20 to 25 percent off i can't remember at target one of y'all told me um girl i had to put fake lashes on and my husband went out and it was stuck on this um one of y'all had commented and told me that the queen size would be big enough because the king was like huge so i took that back and i ended up getting this one for 41 dollars versus it's regular 60. so i got this so this also brings cream on top of the white comforter set that i just ordered i really hope that comforter set works and then i don't know if i showed y'all this but i had got um these from target it was five dollars i plan on cutting these off and sticking these down in um these i bought these from target how long ago girl i don't know when they first put these out these were ten dollars each i'm pretty sure y'all seen these bulbs but i plan on having like these come up out of there and put them on either side of the nightstands or somewhere in the room honey. and then these are just to remind y'all these are the pillows that I got. I need to air them out. Oh, yeah. I think I'm gonna take these upstairs and put them in my closet and hang them over a hanger so that they don't look, you know, worn. But yeah, I think this is gonna look real nice because y'all know, like I said, the brass mirrors, the brass hardware, and then this is the back. So she's here for the bone. But yeah, I need to take these out. And I think that's all that I've collected. So I got three of those. The pillow inserts are in there too. So, oh, let me show y'all one more thing. I might have showed, I don't know. I don't know if I showed y'all these yet. Hold on real quick. Okay, y'all. I don't know, I feel like the lighting is terrible in here. So everything, I don't know if I showed y'all that, but we had to literally take all the, the all of the decor off the tables in here because Bean gives zero, okay? She gives zero. Anyways, so I purchased, I think I told y'all a long time ago on some vlogs that they had these trays at Target and I was so mad at myself because I didn't get them and they were sold out online. They were not sold in sold stores anymore and they brought them back and I'm so happy. This is part of Studio McGee, but I, these are so heavy, $25, but I wanted us to have like some nice, elegant catch-all trays on our nightstands. So I know y'all like how much you plan on putting on the nightstands. Not too much, but it's gonna be the white lamps that I just showed y'all, the catch-all tray probably right there in the center for you to put your, you know, your jewelry, your phone, whatever it is that you want. And then you could probably even use this as a coaster. I don't know. You know, like to put your beverage right there and then whatever else, anyways. And then um, maybe just like that glass, thing bold thing that i was telling y'all about with those little ugly flower things coming out so the reason why i chose those flowers is because again like i want certain elements of moody but not super moody when you walk in if that makes sense so certain moody tones in there but the overall vibe of the room in the bathroom is luxury hotel vibes so you feel like you know, living in royalty, but make it like, it's like home away from home. So even if I'm home, I feel like I'm on vacay. That's what I want my whole house to feel like. Like when I come back from vacation, I feel like I'm still in paradise. Hopefully I explained that perfectly well, but the light, the airy the sunlight, when we wake up, I just want to just be like, oh my gosh, and I can't wait to get back to it. Not because I'm sleepy, but because it makes me feel at peace. Hopefully that makes sense. So I, anyways, I got two of these. Um, I'm so excited to start decorating the master bedroom. Oh yeah, I ran out of breath. Okay, so I have to be quiet because Malia is literally on our bed sleeping right there. Okay, can y'all see this? Hey, y'all know.
Okay, so this is what it looks like. Honestly, you can't really get the full effect because it's literally up against the wall. But just try to envision the dresser. This is sitting on top of that bone dresser. Maybe I'll insert a picture of what it looks like and then the brass mirror up on the wall. So my plan is not to hang it super high. Like I want it just above the dresser. So if the dresser top was right here where my hands are, here's where the mirror will start because I want the lamp to be kind of in front of the mirror. And then these mirrors are pretty long, so. And then I haven't decided if I'm going to put anything above our bed or just leave it clean with the two mirrors on each side and then the dressers, I mean the nightstands. So I decided to go with um, 30 inches as opposed to 40 inches because Honestly, there's, you see where our wall indents right there? So we have to fit our bed and the dressers right there. The Not, not the dressers, y'all, the nightstands. So the nightstands we had before were 26 inches. So we're adding four inches. Those fit perfectly, but they were small to me. 40 inches, it would have been bed, dressers connected. It would all just been bunched. So this gives us a little bit of room. And then you obviously have that extra space right there beside my husband's side of the bed. And I don't have that on mine because then the closet is over there. But um, look at all of this spit and slobber and handprints from Malia. I'm so ready to get these hung up before she decided to become baby Hulk and just, child, I would be so upset. Um, I think I'm about to close out this vlog. I honestly don't know how long it is. We'll see. But, um, so y'all know earlier in the vlog, I had started doing some organization to my closet. So, what the heck is that? I'm about to, um, order some more stuff off of Amazon for like my headband accessories and um, so a case to put like my shades and stuff in. I'm gonna go on Ikea and see if I can find the rest of the stuff that I was telling y'all that I am lacking in my closet. Um, so I told y'all yesterday that the next time I came on this camera, I was gonna be looking like something. Let me see. Y'all, I am well aware that sometimes I be having that white stuff on my lips, but Sometimes I don't catch it until I go to edit. But anyways, I still ain't got no lashes, which that's supposed to be tomorrow. But let me just tell y'all what happened to me. So I was in the shower last night. It was about 10 something. Took down my braids, took off my wig, was washing my hair. And I had my phone in the shower with me because I was watching a vlog while I was taking a shower. I get a text message from my hairstylist. Y'all already know the end of the story. <laughs> Mind you, we cool, but we ain't cool to the point where we're texting outside of here. So it says, I'm sorry, I'm not feeling well. Um, I'm gonna have to reschedule your appointment. Oh. Why couldn't you text me an hour before? Granted, I am extremely thankful that she texted me to let me know. Got too much moisturizer on my neck. To let me know that she's not feeling well because I don't want her doing my hair if she doesn't feel well. So I appreciate that and I do want her to get better. So it's not about, you know, her being sick or anything. It's about the timing. Cause number one, I don't know how to braid my own hair. Number two, I had just straightened my own hair for me and my husband to go on a date. So I would have just left it as is and just finessed it. But now, hello. We, what am I supposed to do? So I've literally been distraught all morning, like, trying to just twist my natural hair and just wear it up. And my pineapple, that's the only thing I know how to do. But y'all know the dress I have, I just don't know if my natural hair is gonna work with it. <laughs> and then I was like, well, maybe I'll just throw some braids in my hair, like do the passion twist in my hair. But I don't know if I'm gonna like that either. And then y'all know my edges are fragile right now because they just never run. So anyways, um, I'm not gonna be looking like a bad baby. My flowers still look good. So yeah, that's my dilemma for today.
But at least we're going to get the nails done, honey. Hopefully she don't cancel my appointment too. And then the lashes, <laughs> that's always up in the air. Bree, if you're watching this, you already know it is what it is, sis. Sometimes, you know, you be like, I forget. Oh, I can't do this. Their flowers look really good. So we just contacted the people to come and do our flowers in the front on each side. But y'all comment down below. Like, oh, my roses are budding. Is it budding or blooming? Whatever. I see one. But um, what flowers y'all think we should get in the front? I look like shit. End of the vlog. This is it. Bye. Have a good one. See you on Sunday.